Welcome to the Boxing Locker. I am Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach, and this is my Boxing 101 series of videos for YouTube. So I'm going to start you off uh, with a dynamic warm-up. Now, a dynamic warm-up means a mobile warm-up. We're getting the muscles moving, getting the blood pumping, getting everything ready to perform explosive dynamic actions. What we're gonna start off with is legs, lower body movements, and then move up the body as we go, so that progressively we get ourselves more and more warm, ready to get on with something a little bit more challenging. So the first thing we start off with is we're gonna do some leg swings. So I'm gonna hold on to the rope here. One leg is my standing leg, a leg back, and then I just swing my leg up. As soon as my leg crosses my leg, swing it back up. Five to 10 repetitions on each side, we'll go for 10. Just swing in the leg, keep swinging the leg, getting the hamstrings warm, getting the blood pumping, all through the quads. Then we spin it round, do the same the other way. 10 reps. Get your body moving, get your blood pumping. Get a bit more flexibility and mobility through those muscles. Next up, hip openers. So I'm gonna hold on again. You don't really have to, you can do it with the, without the holding on, but just for a balance sake, so that you can see what you can do if you need the assistance. Lift. Open, drop, 10 reps. Eight, nine, bosh. Let's do it the same the other side. Now it's really important to open your hips out when you're gonna do any sort of boxing related exercise because everything is very lateral movement dominated and if your hips aren't warm and mobile, you're really gonna struggle. Good, now we're gonna do some side swings. So holding on to both, I'm gonna come across with my leg and then out. 10 reps. And then I switch legs. Beautiful, now we're gonna move into a little bit higher up into the quads. So we're gonna get one leg back, driving the knee up, keep it bent, kick it back. And then swap straight over to the other side. Although boxing isn't necessarily a leg dominated sport, there's so much footwork involved, so many changes of direction, it's actually really easy to aggravate or, or damage yourself um, in your legs because all those changes of direction are really explosive, really fast. It's quite easy to pull something, tear something, or just do yourself an injury without warming up properly, right? So it's really important that you don't miss these out. Now we're gonna do hip circles. So I'm gonna circle 10 times in one direction, wide as you can, plenty of hip movement. Getting the spine involved now. And then change direction after 10. And then straight into side leans, okay? So hands on your side, push your hips to the left, drop down to your right, and then alternate. 20 in total, 10 each side. Remember when you're boxing, when you're moving your head, you're gonna be bending at the waist. So we've gotta make sure we're nice and loose, nice and warm, ready to go. And bosh. Now we're getting to something slightly more mobile. So our legs are wider. We wanna be about twice shoulder width. Reach back between your toes, then lean back and open your chest out. Soft knees, not rigid, but they have gotta be relatively straight. So we want them hamstrings to warm up through the movement. We want the back to open out, the chest to open out. 10 reps, getting yourself moving, getting that warmth, running down your spine, all into the hamstrings and the backs of the legs, and then bringing it in. So, slightly narrower, literally slightly narrower, and we're gonna put our right hand to our left foot. Doesn't matter if your knees are a bit softer here, the other arm goes back, 
and then we swap. Keep switching sides, letting your body rotate. Again, warming up the spine, getting it mobile, getting it moving, ready to go. And then that's 10. Now we're gonna move into even further up the body, which is rotating around. So I want arms out to your sides. You're gonna turn your body as much as you can and cross this arm across, and then keep swapping over and keep rotating. The important thing is that our palm faces forward as we go. What this does is it means we open out the chest a lot more. It's gonna be very helpful when you start throwing hooks shortly in the rest of your sessions and in the rest of my videos. You're gonna need that mobility and that movement so that you're not injuring yourself or suffering unduly. And relax. Now bring the hands together in the center, go out diagonally, opposite directions, 10 in each side. Again, getting the shoulders, getting the chest, the back, the arms moving, getting the blood pumping, ready to get a good session in. It's really important that we don't do too many static stretches before we, before we start exercising, because all that's gonna result in is your muscles elongating without actually having the mobility through them, and then they're gonna reject it, cramp up, tighten up, you're gonna really struggle there. Arm rotations are the last one I'm gonna work on there. So arm nice and loose, shoulder drops, go back for 10 reps. Swap arms, take a step over. And then we go forwards for 10 in each one. And switch for the last time. And there you have it. That is it guys, that is your dynamic warm up, ready for any of the boxing workouts that follow up, ready for any of these boxing videos in my Boxing 101 series. Please now, you've warmed up well, jump into one of these other videos, see what you can learn, see how I can help you become a better boxer in a very short time, just by uh, working on simple drills for simple skills. Same message every time. Have a great day, everyone.